My name is Jelani Hussein. I'm the Executive Director for the Council on American Islamic Relations, CARE Minnesota. Uh, we'd like to clarify some facts about the Cargill Fort Morgan case involving Muslim employees who have requested prayer accommodations. It's been reported that our clients are requesting to be accommodated for large group prayers during their shifts. And after such a request was denied, then our clients proceeded to walking out. And there are still four or five hundred Somali employees working at that plant. Well, first of all, our clients in the past and now make individual requests for prayer during their shifts when the prayer schedule falls outside their given schedule breaks, for example, lunch. Our clients reported to us that this is how their uh, accommodations have been met for the past few years, and for some of them for the past eight to nine years. We are representing clients who went back to work after the walkout. They report to us that their request, request were, was also denied for prayer and then fired. We also understand that currently that there are less than 30 Muslim or Somali employees at that plant. Finally, CARE will continue to negotiate with Cargill for the prayer request or prayer accommodation request of our clients. We are hopeful that we can come into terms with Cargill. If our negotiations do fail, we do intend to seek all legal options for our clients. Thank you.